morning everyone welcome back to inner rubber boots my name is Katrina and today I have a really exciting video so if you've been following along on my channel you will know that we live in a trailer and we have all been sharing one bedroom which doesn't work very well that's my husband and myself and two-year-old and eight-month-old and so we recently put up a wall in the middle of the living room, split the living room in half. So we have a small living room and a bedroom in part of the living room. And you know what? It's working quite well, but the place is now a disaster. I am going to not only move stuff around, but completely reorganize and rearrange everything in this trailer. So really making that wall meant that we uh, moved all of our bedroom stuff into the front bedroom, we moved the living room stuff around. That meant that now Levi has his own room, at least for now, until Henry moves in with him in this room. And that means that his room is a disaster. It also means I can move some of the stuff out of the back room, which is just a storage room, and reorganize the storage back there. So really, I am rearranging everything in the trailer except for the kitchen. My clothes are in this dresser. Now these are built-in dressers, so they have to stay in here, obviously. Um, so all that stuff has to come out, and I haven't done any of that. So like the things that are un were under the bed before, I really just want to completely sort, reorganize everything while I'm doing it. Like now is the time to do it because everything is out, everything's a mess. So I want to totally go through everything, see if there's anything I want to declutter, as well as see where I should store stuff. So I really don't want just random things stored in random places. Ideally, I would like the things stored under our bed to make sense, you know, be my clothes or uh, extra blankets for our bed, that kind of thing, versus just everything everywhere. Because when I try to find something, I'm checking every single tiny storage spot, trying to figure out where that bin is. I'm going to attempt to show you the back room just really quick, just to give you an idea of like how bad it is and what a crazy amount of work I've got ahead of me. So before we do that, I'm just showing you, this is the hallway. Like even the hallway <laughs> is filled with stuff. Um, this shelf, I want to, you know, it's not too bad, but I would like to reorganize all of the food storage. This is the back room. So lots of rabbits back here. They also need a better space and set up that I don't have to take them out of the back room for playtime, but like, it's full. I mean, it's a storage room, so you know, it makes sense, but like, whew. So yeah, I would like to organize our food storage better, because I should have more space to do so. And these bunk beds are going to be coming out of here, um, not immediately, but hopefully very soon. They're going to be going in the boys' room, so that's going to make a huge difference back here. So. I mean, this before and after is going to be crazy. So I'm going to show you the living room and bedroom areas. Um, they're actually not that bad as far as mess goes because I've only moved in the things that I know I want in there, but they really need to be organized properly. So we've got the space under the TV and beside the TV. It's already destroyed, so I need to organize that as far as toys go. So again, this room isn't too bad. It's just that those drawers are filled with games and toys and all things that don't belong in this room anymore so I need to empty and sort that and same with this dresser it's a combination of some of my stuff some of Henry's stuff so this floor is disgusting mostly just because the bed and crib and dresser and everything was covering it up so this is all kind of like underneath so I've just stacked everything in the middle here so that I can vacuum the floor so that when I sort stuff I'm not sorting it on a dirty floor One of the tricky parts was the fact that all of the dressers were full and so I needed to kind of like empty a dresser to put the new things into it, but that dresser was also already full. So I needed to kind of put things in baskets so that I could actually move it between dressers and have space to actually fill the dressers back up again.
So this dresser here had a lot of school kind of supplies in it, craft supplies, games, puzzles, books, Play-Doh, like you name it, there was a lot of stuff in here. So I'm thinking I'll put puzzles and games in Levi's room, but school stuff, I'm not sure if I want to put in there or if I want to keep that somewhere in the common area. So I'm going to figure that out. All right, so I've got all the toys and games in here and puzzles. So I'm going to put that in the bedroom. And then it was time to tackle the back room. The biggest struggle with the back room is the fact that there is so much in the back room, but there is no place to put it other than putting it in the bedroom. And that's okay, except for the fact that we were taking the bunk beds out of the back room and putting them into the bedroom. So that meant that we had to also leave space in the bedroom for the bunk beds. Thankfully, my parents were over. We moved all the rabbits into the hallway. We stacked a lot of stuff in the bedroom and we just tried to get as much done in one day as we could so that way I could work on slowly organizing the back room over the next few weeks after uh, we had moved the bunk beds. Oh my goodness. majority of my time in the back room really was spent just shuffling items around so that I would have enough space to sort the next area or get at the items that I was trying to get at. It did make it a really slow, tedious job, but after a few weeks I definitely had it looking much, much better. times that honestly I kind of almost worked myself into a corner. I had trouble getting back out again. Um, I really was trying to get the items that we use the least in the um, less accessible areas. So uh, if I was stacking bins I tried to have Christmas items or games or things that we're not using a lot um, at the bottom of the pile so that way I don't have to move all of the bins to get to those items in the future. And then it was time to focus back on the bedroom. Now that I had the items moved from the bedroom into the back room, I could actually get at the bedroom again. I really wanted to store items both under the bunk beds as well as have plenty of blankets on the bunk beds and pillows and things like that that I normally would have stored um, and really use that space for a bit more storage as well as a spot for Levi uh, to hang out or if people were over, um, just have that bunk bed be a functional space. So now that the bunk beds are up, I want to store stuff under the bed. I don't have a lot of space as in like it's not very high off the ground, but it's a lot of space as in I've got the hole underneath of that bed that I can put stuff under. So I'm trying to be wise about it but I definitely want to use that space. So I'm using a vacuum pack kind of a bag. It has a rip in it so it doesn't vacuum seal anymore, but really it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put some blankets in it and just make sure it's flat enough to fit under the bed. So I might see if I have anything else to put in here, but it's mostly just like baby stuff that this guy's already outgrown. Yeah, because you're growing so fast. All right, 
So I'm going to show you the back room. There's still more stuff than I would like back here. It's kind of like an ongoing process. I'm just going to show you how much better it is. But once the rabbits move out of here, when the warm weather comes, so like say May, I will be organizing it a lot more. And then I will show you at that time again. But at least now you can see how big of a difference there is. So here's just a little reminder of the before, and then I will show you what the after looks like. So here's what it looks like when you walk into the room. So we've got kind of rabbits set up here as well as a cage here. So again, like I said, they will move out in about two months and so things will be a lot better at that point. So I left this cabinet against the uh, window, so to speak. It That window, you can't see out of the window regardless, but that window has foam behind it, so it didn't really matter. Uh, again, I want to organize this better, but it is all decor up on the top there. And this is pantry. So just to give you an idea, that is all pantry storage in there. Then behind the rabbits, what I've done is I've got all bins going all the way down, you know, behind the rabbits here. Um, and I've put bins that I don't use very often down at the bottom. So, you know, say like Christmas stuff or things like that. Uh, so I don't have to get at those items. And then I have a folding table behind the rabbits to kind of separate and keep those bins a little cleaner. And behind here, again, it's all just bins going all the way down to the floor. This is stuff I still want to sort through better, but it is so much more organized than it was. You can see that I've got the trunks in here. This corner is kind of stuff that's loose items that I'd like to do something with, but it's a little hard to figure out how to store it. And this car seat will be moving out of here probably in a few weeks, so it's just sitting there temporarily until I install it in the van. And then you have the only closet, not that we really use it like a closet, but the only closet in the trailer. And so we've got, I don't know, I don't know where to start. We've got items at the top. Stuff stored up here. I've got a lot of toys in this area and kids clothing stored here. Uh, this again will be moving. This is Easter uh, presents that I need to wrap. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out. And this wall is probably my favorite. So we've got storage on the very top. And then books. I know they're not as beautiful looking as I would like them to be. I've really stuffed them in there. Um, but yeah, we've got books, books. Here there is a basket of toys that actually belongs here, but it's out for playing. And kids books there. Uh, ki some kids books on this shelf as well. But kids books that Levi needs to grow into are on the higher shelf. Kids books that he can read now are on the lower shelf. And on the very bottom, I have put board books. There's a marble thing there. So this is kind of what I'm considering the book slash toy library. And the reason I say that is because I don't want all of this out at the same time. So he can kind of come in here with supervision, pick a couple of items, play with them for a few days, bring them back and pick something else. So continuing along that wall, we also have a bookcase here. Yep, it's angled, but that's just because there's not enough space to have everything against the wall. And again, that's storage in there. Not as organized as I'd like it to be, but it's getting there. So we've got paper towels and toilet paper on the top, all the toiletry kind of items on the next shelf. Um, some magnets that I will be giving to Levi at some point, and then just cereals and granola bars. Now we have rabbit cage here. Obviously that is temporary. Uh, don't worry, that cord is not on when there's rabbits in there. They are currently running around. Um, yeah, so this cage here is here temporary, but what I really love is what is underneath. And that is another really organized space for toys. Again, being treated as kind of a toy library. So we can take out some stuff and trade it with what we have going on. I do have some empty bins because, again, like I said, this is kind of a work in progress. So I'm going to fill those ones up at some point. But, you know, we have things like blocks. We have this other sort of block magnet one. Um, this is like where you put on an outfit or whatever with lacing. 
some Playmobil stuff in there, a puzzle, a random stick, this is from the rabbits, uh, tools, so you get the idea, like, I am so happy, this is a shoe rack, I took out, so they were all this size, I took out the divider here and the divider here, so it's wide enough to put in larger containers, and it's just the perfect way to organize stuff, and then in the future, when the rabbit is gone, I hope to have baskets or things on the top of it. So as you saw, those rabbits were um, playing in the hallway. I've actually left this as kind of a permanent setup, so to speak. I didn't have room in the back room to have a play area for them. But because the hallway is obviously right next to the room, I can just take the rabbits out of the cage and put them in the hallway super easy. And that way they're getting lots of exercise and I don't have to set up a place for them to play every single time. I also had a chance to organize the um, little pantry area in the hallway, so that was nice. And then it was time to finish up this bedroom so that I can do a reveal for that as well. And here you have the finished product of the room. Again, a work in progress, but what a difference from before. So we got a dresser in the corner that I store stuff in. I'll show you that. The bunk beds, which are just for playing on at this point. Rocking chair, which is kind of nice for a spot to sit when the kids are playing in here. Their kitchen set. Their table. Great space for doing arts and crafts and school and that sort of thing. I actually ended up putting the majority of his school supplies as well as games and puzzles and anything that we don't use on a daily basis um, in this dresser. And because the uh, chair is in front of it, then he doesn't really open it himself. The dresser here. This dresser is mostly Henry's stuff in there as well as storage. And Levi's bed is in the corner. And toys and laundry hamper and their stuffed animals. And again, I haven't had a chance to really decorate, but so much better than it was. And would you believe, going through all this stuff organizing, I have a whole box of stuff to get rid of only about one month after I purged the whole house. So that's again a good feeling. And now, if you have been watching my renovation videos, you will know this is the final reveal for the living room. So it is obviously much smaller, but it is functional and tidy. I'm able to decorate it and have it still be a nice cozy spot. Uh, we were able to hang up this nice big cow painting, and we are really happy with this space. I had quite honestly planned on showing you the bedroom all organized and decorated and everything in this video, but this video was getting so long that I am going to save that for the next video. So make sure that you are subscribed and um, have the bell on so that you're notified when that video comes out because you don't want to miss the reveal of the bedroom. It is crazy and it turned out so, so nice. So if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!